We are about to start our journey. My sash. My wreath. Oh, my wife. Yes, yes. Senex, you are master of this house and no help at all. Where is Sunus? Where is Hysterium? Summon them! Sunus! Hysterium! Ah, uh, madam, you called? Yes, Hysterium. And I answered, ever your humble. Thank you, Hysterium. Have you prepared my potions? Yes, madam. In addition to your usual potions, I have included one for tantrums and one for queasiness. Thank you, Hysterium. Come away from that house of shame! I was just standing there saying shame, 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 shame. <laughs> Hysterium! Yes, madam. Where is Sudalus? Where is he indeed? I have not seen him since he dressed Hero this morning. Well, tell him that while we are gone, he is to keep Hero cheerful, well fed, and far from the opposite sex! My dear, the boy has to learn sometime. And when that time comes, you shall tell him. Yes, dear. What little you know. Now go and fetch the gift we bring my mother. Yes, dear. <laughs> ah, there I am. Do you think it would please my mother? Mm. The craftsmanship is superb. And the resemblance? Frightening. <clears throat> Here are my husband's final instructions. In his absence, his entire household is in your spotless care. Your word shall be absolute, your authority unquestionable. And furthermore. We are on our way. We're on our way. Farewell, hero. Farewell, thoughtful Mysterium. Senex, come along and carry my bus with pride. <laughs> Black Black there. A lesson for you all. Never fall in love during a total eclipse. Sudalus. Sudalus. He could have taken this to the stone cutter for me. I dropped it, and now the nose has to be resharpened. Hysterium. He'll take it for me. Take me. Take me. What did you say? Take me. One moment. <laughs> Here, on the street if you like. My body is yours. Say it. Say it. Your body is mine. Then take me. Is this not what you want? It does cross my mind now and then. You must know one thing. What is that? Though you have my body, you shall never have my heart. Well, you can't have everything. <laughs> A thousand thanks, whichever one of you did this. I'm sweating not two streets from here. <laughs> oh, gets to look more like his father every day. Sudalus, he's here. No, remember where we stopped. Sir, you're back. Yes, she almost broke it. Uh, you returned? Yes. Unexpectedly. Apparently. Who is she? Who is she? I shall await your bidding. Yes, dear. Ever your servant. Oh, oh my servant. <laughs> uh, yeah, your new servant. Your new maid. Uh, we needed some new help. Uh, A new maid? She seems very loyal. And very efficient and very courteous and very thoughtful. Maids like me, I'm neat. I like maids. They're neat. Something no household should be without. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a working girl. Everybody ought to have a lurking girl to put around the house. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a menial, consistently congenial and quieter than a mouse. Oh, oh, won't she be delicious, tidying up the dishes, neat as a pin. Oh. Oh, wouldn't she be delightful sweeping out, sleeping in? Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have Someone a maid. Someone whom you hire when you're short of help to offer you the sort of help you never get from a spouse. Fluttering up the stairway, shuttering up the windows, cluttering up the bedroom, fluttering up the master, pattering all around the house. Oh. 
Oh, wouldn't she be delicious? Tidying up the dishes. Me has a pin. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful? Sweeping out, sleeping in. Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have Someone a maid. Someone who's fetching you your slipper will be winsome as a whipper will and graceful as a grouse. Skittering down the hallway, glittering through the parlor, tittering in the pantry, littering up the bedroom, twittering, twittering all around. The house! A maid! A maid! A maid! A maid! Everybody ought to have a maid. Everybody ought to have a serving girl. A loyal and unswerving girl who's quieter than a mouse. Oh! Oh, think of her at the dustbin, especially when she's just been traipsing about. Oh, oh, wouldn't, wouldn't she be delightful? delightful? Living in, giving out, everybody, everybody ought, ought to have a maid. Tidily collecting bits of paper and strings, appealing in her apron strings, beguiling in a blouse. Pattering through the attic, chattering in the cellar, clattering in the kitchen, uh, flattering in the bedroom, purring all around the house. The, the house. house. The, the house. house. The house. The house. <laughs> <laughs> A maid, a maid, a maid. Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who's efficient and reliable, obedient and pliable, and quieter than a mouse. Oh, oh, wouldn't she be so nimble, filling with a thimble, mending her gown? Oh, oh, wouldn't she be delightful, cleaning up, leaning down? Everybody ought to have a maid. Someone who's be busy as a bumblebee And even if you could rumble be As graceful as a grouse Wiggling in the ante room Giggling in the living room Giggling in the dining room Wiggling in the other rooms Pottering all around The house The house The house The house I know how busy both of you are. Therefore, it is for me to instruct her and the niceties of housework. We shall start in my room. Sir, your son's in there. Damn. Ah, before my friend and neighbor Aronius went abroad in search of his children, stolen in infancy by pirates, he asked me to look into his house from time to time. Phew. This seems a good time as any. I shall have a chat with the girl in here. Send her to me. Sir. Yes. Uh, only my great devotion to you allows me to speak so frankly. <laughs> <coughs> you trudged on the road quite some way, and I fear that the great physical exertion... Is that me? Yes, sir. My heavens, I smell like an overheated ass. I shall have to bathe. At least. <laughs> ah, Sludalus, that, uh, that new maid, you know what her first words were to me? She said, take me. And you shall, sir. I'll try. Yes, sir. Remember, Asterium, not too hot or not too cold. Billy, Billy. Son. Father. Where's mother? Where? Oh, um. <laughs> I'd be done without her. Pressing business. Lovely new maid. New maid? Sunless told me about it. Oh. Presently, my dear. Why did he look at her that way? Why did he look at her that way? Must be my imagination. She's a lovely blooming flower. He's just a sprout. Impossible. She's a lovely blooming flower. He's a worn out. Impossible. Just a fledgling in the nest. Just a man who needs a rest. He's a beamish boy at best. Poor old fellow. He's a child and loves a test. He's too young to pass. Impassable. 
He has asthma, gout, a wife, lumbago, and gas. Irascible, romping in the nursery. He looks tired. Son, sit on your father's knee. Father, you can lean on me. Him, impossible. But why did she wave at him that way? Why did she wave at him that way? Could there be an explanation? Women often want a father, she may want mine. It's possible. He's a handsome lad of 20, I'm 39. It's possible. All the men know so much more. In a way, I'm 44. Next to him, I seem a bore. All right, 50. But then again, he is my father, I ought to trust. Impossible. Then again, with love at my age, sometimes it's just impossible. With the girl, I'm ill at ease. I don't feel well. Sir, about those birds and bees. Son, a glass of water, please. A situation fraught. Fraught to them, I thought. With horrible, impossible possibility. Son, it grieves me to see a boy of your age just moping around the house. Sudalus, I would like you to take Hero to the bath, please. Sir! Yes, sir. Uh, allow me to finish a brew Master Hero asked me to prepare. Master, I shall meet you in front of the baths of uh, Aqua Salina. <laughs> uh, you know where they are. Next to the harbor! <laughs> and I shall have a surprise for you when you get there. <laughs> oh, yes. Farewell, Father. Well, he to his bath and I to mine. One more thing, Estelle, before you go? Yes, sir. I shall need a complete change of garb. Let me see. My tunic with the tassels will do. Uh, sir, it needs taking in. Well, then take it in and bring it out. Yes, sir. Welcome again, playgoers. You are about to witness the second half of our play. Permit me to remind you where we were when you last saw us. The virgin was waiting. That's what they do best. Waiting in the house for the arrival of her captain to come and claim her. She has refused to drink the potion on religious grounds. Lycus skulks about the city searching for Philia. Hero is at the baths where he sits and soaks. His mother <clears throat> is on the way to the country to visit her mother. 104 years old and not one organ in working condition. <laughs> the mighty co the courtesans, Captain Miles Gloriosus and his mighty warriors, Hysterium and Sudalus are here. And I, Senex, await my maid in my neighbor's house. Hopefully it's after so my last ode if memory serves. Let the play continue. Which microphone do I take? Hysterium? Which microphone do I take? The one that's all the way down there? Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, I must say this to you. Abandon this mad adventure. Think of your wife on her way to the country. That, my dear Hysterium, is the country's problem. Yes, sir. By the way, you that potion you prepare that so fills one with passion that one can almost perform miracles. Uh, yes, sir. You have some left over from your last anniversary. Bring it to me now. No, no, my dear. Wrong house. Ah! At last! My dearest Senex, you saw through my disguise. Yes, beloved. I'm sorry. It's just that you've been a little distant these past 29 years ago. Um, yes, beloved. Where are you going? Uh, business, dear. Pressing business. 
patience, my dear. Who is it speaks so boldly to my virgin? Your what? She is my maid. She is my daughter. Ah, stop that hurt. Shoot! Who are you? Uh, I'm this man's baby daughter. Hysterium. A eunuch. My daughter's a eunuch. <laughs> Seize him! Say it! You! Sir, that is my wife you are speaking to! You are married to that? That? Yes, I am married to that, that! And I shall thank you to release my slave and remove yourself from in front of my house! Philia, go to the man who you. No, no, no! Aren't you the captain? Quiet! We're under martial law! There is the captain! Mother, father, I wish to marry! Son! If you're only as happy as your mother and I, my heart bleeds for you! <laughs> Father and father, yet one another, something.